All right, so this is Walker Lake. There's supposed to be a fossil site nearby here. I think I about have a have about a mile to walk to get to it. But it was uh, recommended in this book here. Oops, shade. Rockhound Falcon Guide, Rockhound in Pennsylvania, New Jersey. And uh, I did some looking online. I didn't see any YouTube videos of people that have been here fossil hunting or uh, I did some other looking around online, so I don't know. Don't know what I'll find here. If it'll be a good site or not, but we're, we're gonna go check it out. That's what I do. Looks like a nice place though. I guess this is owned by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, this place, this area. All right, let's get, let's get out there. Yeah, so here's a nice view of the lake. Some people out there enjoying themselves. All right. Yeah, so I'm gonna head up along this old road. Of course, back there was the parking area is back there. I guess you have to walk about a mile up this to get to the site. But they say you can find fossils along the road sometimes too, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Now this is turning out to be a nice little hike. Just slight uphills every now and then. It's a warm day, not really hot though. Yeah. And got some oxide daisies. Got the creatures enjoying them. Well, it's been about half an hour. It makes about a mile. So now I'm looking for a, hopefully it might be a trail that goes off to the left here. Because now we got to go back down to the lake. Well, I can still see lake down there. But um, we go down near where the dam breast is. So it looks like I got a little farther to go. Yeah, I can still see lake water because the area is just past the dam breast. So hopefully, there's a, I don't know if there's a trail up here or not. I'm assuming if people go fossil hunting there, that there's going to be some kind of a trail up here. It'd be nice. Otherwise, it's going to be a, a bushwhack down to the site. All right, I think I found where I need to go down this way. The tra the road kind of turns and goes around the mountain and I know I don't want to go that way so we're gonna head down this way well, this little trail just keeps going on I hope it takes me where I need to go all right the trail brought me to a stream but I pulled the GPS out and uh, not too far from where I need to be. I think so. I think I'm gonna head off in this direction. It looked like there's a, a faint trail going off there, so we we'll have to do a little bushwhacking anyway. This, like I said before, this GPS is kind of a lifesaver. Not quite sure where you are, where you're going. Sometimes it just helps out. So I'm gonna go that way. Follow this stream a little bit. Should take me where I need to go. There's kind of a faint trail, so we'll see. All right. Yeah, now I'm on this really faint game trail, or maybe it's a people trail, but we'll see where it goes. It's taking me in the right direction, so. All right, well it brought me out to here. Up there is the dam breast, so I kind of, I need to go up here more. Oh, all right. Well, here we are at the site. There might be an easier way to get here. I ended up coming up through that field there then. So anyway, on the way back, I'm probably just gonna hike straight up to where that road, the road should be right up there, that road that came in. Came in on, of course the lake is over there too. You could kayak over here too, I guess, or boat. So there's probably easier ways to get here. It's just the way I end up coming. I know that there's a road right down there, the main road that came up, but that that's all private property right along the road. So you would either have to trespass or get permission to come up that way. But all right, so now that I'm here, I'm gonna take a little break and I'm gonna start looking around, see what's here. There better be some, better be something cool here. It took me a while to get here, so all right.
I should note too that there, this place is in full, uh, full exposure to the sun. So it's in the mid 70s today. So no well, low 70s, so it's not so bad. If you came out here on a really hot day, would you might be suffering a bit. But there's already found some these things. I forget these are called those concretions. I found them oh, another place too. Is it the Montour pit, fossil pit? But sometimes you break these open, they have fossils in them. Because the surrounding rock is all this loose, uh, shaley stuff, and then you have these larger blocks. So I might break some of those open and see what's inside. A little something on the edge there. All right, we'll look around some more here. Yeah, the fossils are on these bigger chunks of rock. Let me just try and zoom in a little bit. Like here's something here. And if there's something, I'm not quite sure what that is, but. Like I said, there's a lot of this loose stuff. There's nothing in this, but the bigger rock, bigger pieces of rock have stuff on them. So, make my way around here a little bit more. Well, other people have definitely been here, chipping away at this rock. There are trace little fossils in here, here and there. Someone was here's another section. Someone was working away at some stuff. Some more up here. What's this? Well, there's something right there. Hmm. So there's stuff here. It's like I said, it's in, there's a lot of really loose stuff here. This, you know, this stuff here. But you want to look at the big stuff. That's the big rocks. The bigger pieces of rock in here would have the fossils in it. Which I think I think. Oh, that's just bird poo. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Sun went away for a little bit. That's nice. But I'm gonna look around a little bit more for these bigger rocks. I guess you could dig for them too. In this looser stuff. So there's stuff here. I think I'll take that one home. Look around for some more things. There's some. Interesting colorations, but here's where's that one at? Here's one. A little piece of a shell. Let me get out of the shade sun there. Looks like something, a bit of a shell in there. Yeah, now you can see the lake down there. I came up came up a bit higher in this pit area. It's quite a large area. So. Yeah, here's some more. Not quite sure what that is. Nothing overly special. Some little critters. Yeah, so there's just this big rock someone broke open. Yeah, so as I broke this one piece open, you can see there are little shell fragments in here. Nothing overly special, but there's stuff here. So I'm gonna keep keep chipping away a little bit. See what else I can find. There's little fragments in there. See little, oops. You see just little fragments of shells. Some of these things. Yeah, some other things. Here's, cracked that one open earlier. That's an, I've been finding a lot of those, like shell things. There's, yeah, right there's another piece. And where's the other one? Is that it right there? All right, there it is. Piece on the edge there. So there is stuff here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep poking around a little bit more. Not sure, I'm still not entirely sure what to think of this place, but there, I did find some things, so I'm gonna bust up, bust up a few more rocks and I'll call it quits, I think. There's a little critter in there of some sort. That little thing right there. Yeah, sometimes there's like solid, almost like solid pieces of fossils in here. Not sure, whatever you want to call it. Right. Yeah, and just right on the ground I found a, 
on that fossil. It's like it fell out of a rock. It's like a piece of a shell. Here's a section with the bedrock, well not the bedrock, but the shale beds. They just come apart like this. It's crumbly little. There's little fossils that pop out of there every now and then, but here's, here's another set of fossils I found. Just sitting on the ground here. Well, the sun's in the shade. Those are, those are, those are cool. This is the same thing though, what I've been finding. I well, we got one more worth looking at here, maybe. Not sure what that is entirely. Some kind of worm, maybe. All right, so I think I'm gonna head out of this place. Um, there are fossils here for sure. Um, like I said, they're in, they're in like I've been saying, they're in those bigger rocks though. So I guess you could dig for those bigger rocks too. Here, I'm, I'm not sure what the policy is. Here, I can fly in my face. I'm not sure what the policy is here. For this place, I guess it's owned by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. I'm not sure. There's no signs or anything that say you can't fossil hunt here. So, but uh, it's not one of my favorite places. I like I'm more of a plant fossil person, I think. But there is stuff here. It's what it says, uh, marine organisms. All right. So, yeah. Hope that was helpful. And I think I'm gonna. One of the one other place I want to go to today, I do some hiking somewhere. So I'm going to try and find my way back to that road up there somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, so thanks for coming along. Um, like I said, this is Walker Lake up in Snyder County, Pennsylvania. So bring your, uh, bring your fossil hammer if you come here to break these rocks open. All right, let me head out of here.